Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can tunnel web traffic through SSH. Now some requirements for this is internet connection, web browser obviously. I just put those in there to <laughs> fill up space on the slide. Uh, but the most important is a server computer that you can SSH into. So some common scenarios why you might use this is imagine you're at a Starbucks or a Panera Bread and you're on their public Wi-Fi and you want to do some kind of secure web browsing like you need to access your bank or something like that but you don't have access to a VPN um, using tunneling traffic through SSH is another secure option and another scenario might be you're in a monitor controlled network that has website restrictions or protocol restrictions this could be a good way to tunnel out your web traffic. So the instructions for doing this is we're, we're going to create a dynamic port forward connection through SSH to a remote server. Um, this will set up a SOX proxy that we can configure applications to proxy traffic through. And this is an example SSH command that you would do this on. So this would be your IP, we're going to specify the dynamic port forward option and we're going to give it a local port that we want to tunnel our traffic through and then after we do that we can configure an application to use this connection to tunnel traffic so today I'm going to demo how to do that with a web browser now before I do a demo I'll just give a quick basic overview of SSH versus VPN you're probably thinking, why why wouldn't I use VPN over SSH? I, I'm just showing another option. If you have the choice, just use a VPN. But this is another option to it. So VPN works on a more operating system level where it's going to tunnel all your traffic from your operating system. And SSH works more on a application level where you have to actually configure each application to use that proxy connection if you want it to tunnel traffic so obviously VPN has a huge advantage in that section um, as far as security goes they both have really good encryption it's just VPN by default is gonna encrypt all your traffic tunnel all your traffic um, also VPNs connect private networks well SSH connects a single machine so they call SSH poor man's VPN, but I mean, it works great. Security's great. Um, so it's definitely a great option if you don't have a VPN available and you're on a public network or something. Okay, so I'll go to the demo here. So we're going to set up our SSH connection. We specify the dynamic port forward option. We're going to select the port of 777. And we're going to log into our machine here. So after we're logged in, we can open up something like Firefox. And before I configure Firefox, I'm going to show you. Um, so if you go to what's my IP, you can see this is our IP right now which is before we're using our SSH connection. Now if you go to Preferences, General, scroll all the way down, Network Proxy, click on Manual Proxy Configuration, and in the SACS Host field, type in our local address and the port we used in that SSH command, and then leave this as SACS version 5. So after we configure this, any traffic generated by Firefox is going to be tunneled through this connection, that SSH connection. So let's hit OK. And now if we go over to what's my IP again, you can see it's completely different because we're tunneling that traffic through that SSH connection. So this is actually the IP of the machine we SSH into. So you can see if you're on a public network where this would be useful and you're actually tunneling your traffic to this machine instead of exposing it on the public network. So you have a secure encrypted channel 
to this machine for your web browser and now you can go ahead and do whatever you want and I'll show you another example of if we kill this connection and now we try to go to a website it's not going to let it because we had that proxy set up so now that we killed that connection it's not going to send traffic anywhere so you would have to go back in and clear those settings for it to work again and and then it'll work again. So, yep, yeah, that is how you tunnel traffic through an SSH connection, which, again, my my use of it comes from I don't have access to VPN, so I just I use this when I'm on a public network. Or that's, like, my biggest use case for it. And so at the end here, I'm just going to give you guys some referral links. Um, if you're into cryptocurrencies or want to get into them, here's some refer links to some exchanges if you sign up using these you'll get some kind of credit I think coinbase you get 10 bucks if you spend a hundred and then I get 10 bucks too so it helps you know both people out uh, digital oceans really good for virtual private servers if you need a server they're like five bucks a month for their lowest tier so if you use this link you get 10 bucks credit to your account so that's like two months free so if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, they're here if you want them. They'll help both of us out. And appreciate you guys for stopping by. If you have any feedback, just leave them down below in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you.